Last night, state gaming regulators filed a complaint that would strip Wynn of his gaming license. Our Jeff Gillen joins us live from the Grant Sawyer State Office Building with our top story. That's right. Good evening, everybody. Here is where action will now shift. What has happened is the latest fallout in the sex scandal that cost Steve Wynn his resort and his reputation. Filed yesterday, this 23-page complaint is the latest twist and turn in a scandal that surfaced in January 2018. That's when news broke women who worked at Wynn said Steve Wynn sexually assaulted them. He always denied the charges and later left the company. But this five-count complaint details gaming regulations Steve Wynn allegedly broke and outlines the sexual assaults he allegedly did. The Gaming Control Board says Steve Wynn is no longer fit to hold a gaming license. Mr. Wynn has repeatedly violated Nevada's gaming statutes and regulations, bringing discredit upon the state of Nevada and its gaming industry. He is unsuitable to be associated with a gaming enterprise or the gaming industry as a whole. This complaint is separate from the punishment that landed on Wynn Resorts for failing to stop its founder's actions. Two states, Nevada and Massachusetts, fined the company a combined $55 million. Because the complaint is not directed to the company, we have no comment on it or the allegations in it, Wynn Resorts said today. After Nevada regulators settled with Wynn Resorts, the investigation into founder Steve Wynn continued. This is the result. Effectively, he was out of the industry anyway, and I don't think he was ever going to come back. Gaming expert Howard Stutt says the question now is what does Steve Wynn do? The case now goes before the Gaming Commission. Wynn can respond to the complaint. He could come before the panel. He could even challenge findings in court. I don't think we'll see a hearing, a public hearing. Um, you know, whenever this is in front of the commission for him to fight it, I think they'll quietly settle it somehow. That's to be determined in another chapter against a founder of modern Las Vegas.